Hello everybody, it's me Ross and welcome to Meet the Opposition, the last away game of the season for the Blues away to Crew, who are sadly relegated to League Two. I'm joined by Aaron from the Railway Men podcast. Aaron, our season's not been great. We're finishing maybe 10th, 11th, 9th, whatever in the League One. But sadly, you guys will be playing League Two football next season. How rough has it been? And uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's nice we can at least, you know, put everyone else's seasons into perspective, I guess. Um, no, it, it's it's been a really, really bad year. Um, I've been watching the team now for uh, 25 years, probably, the best part of, and it's probably the w- worst season I can remember. Um, and we've had a few fairly bad ones in there as well. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, it's not been great. And... For one of them, that I feel like we've we've kind of just been waiting for it to be over for a lot longer than we've actually been mathematically relegated for, at least anyway. Yeah, um, sadly, you know, it was confirmed a few weeks ago. Of course, Artel, David Artel is now gone. Um, you know, he's been your manager for a very long time. Of course, led you guys to promotion back to League One a few seasons ago last year. A fantastic finish, 12th. I enjoyed watching the crew side when they played us. Um we got we robbed you really both games to be to be honest in both games, um, but where where would you say it's gone wrong with you guys? You know, it's been a few results there that you've probably gone. Maybe that's why you know some big result like the Sutherland four 0 defeat at home, four one against MK Don. So against the the top teams you struggled against, but then there's been some good results here and there as well. But just yeah, consistency and just yeah, unfortunately relegation is is what it is. Yeah, it's. Um, I mean, it's hard to pinpoint exactly the reason as, as to what's gone wrong this year. Now, it, it, it kind of all started off, we knew it was going to be a little bit rough because we lost um, several players, basically, to championship teams in the summer. Uh, we had uh, Perry NG, who went last January. He's uh, went to Cardiff. And then we'd also sold uh, Harry Pickering to Blackburn, who then we loaned back for like the rest of the season, but he was going to go. So then after that, we also lost uh, Ryan Wintle and Charlie Kirk. And then another one kind of was later on was Owen Dale, uh, another sort of up-and-comer who kind of forced his way out of the club. So he's perhaps not as looked as fondly upon by the rest of the crew fans as all those others I've just mentioned. Um, so like losing that many first-team players straight off the bat, we knew we were going to be in for a long season, but it just felt like there was two or three other things that seemed to pile on top of that. So uh, a couple of the players we'd signed in in the summer to replace those guys, like the outgoing guys, they ended up uh, retiring. One before he'd even kicked a ball for us and another one after about two games, I think. Uh, so that wasn't ideal either. Um, and then from there, we just seemed to have had quite a lot of injuries, which I know every team gets, but when we were a little bit threadbare with that and and some of the new players coming in didn't quite gel with, with whatever was going on. So it's just been one thing after another, basically, Uh, which like you say, inevitably then led to once we mathematically confirmed being down uh, the, the board's decision to get rid of David Artel. Um, Very mixed feelings on it. Obviously it's hard to stand by the guy after this season we've had, but in particular, um, you know, there's, there's, not really a lot of excuses can be made for that, especially when I think at one point it was one winning 15, something like that. So, you know, it's it's really rough going. Um, but that said, he's always going to be a bit of a legend, like you say, for, for crew fans, for what he did, because the time when he came in, we were sort of bottom half, well, well into the bottom half of League Two. Uh, we were staring down non-league pretty much at that point. And then he, that, that, crop of players who, like you say, I've just mentioned, uh, the ones we all sold on, they, they were once pretty much all brought in through by him. Um, so he's sort of nurtured them through the academy and everything. And like you say, took us up. We had that great promotion season a couple of years ago. And we had a, a pretty, like I say, pretty good season last year, um, mid-table, which is quite nice when you've just come up as well. So you're just kind of hoping that you can build on that. And everything's sort of, like I say, just, just didn't go for him this year. Um, let's bring up the last 11 then against Sheffield Wednesday in that defeat. Um, of course, Sheffield Wednesday, they're fighting for, for the playoffs. And of course, Town fans are hoping this sort of game was going to be an opportunity for us to be, you know, fighting for the playoffs. But we all know that's over now for us. It's been a while, over for a while, to be honest. But um, here's the 11. Uh, one name 
we want to, what we're going to talk about, of course, is Rakeem Harper. But before we get into Rakeem Harper, let's talk about some other players we should look out for. I know Tom Lowry is a, he's a player that I know very well. I've, I've always been a f- big fan of his. Um, is he a player that we could look out for in any other else you want to mention? Yeah, Lowry, uh, he's, he's the main sort of creative force from midfield. Uh, so he's going to be in that role almost certainly. He's, he's been playing there. Um, there was a bit of a bit of a falling out with the old manager because he refused to sign a new contract. Um, but that seems to, well, it sort of got pushed by the by, and he has been playing for us week in, week out, pretty much for a while now. So he'll be he'll be sort of the the, the main sort of creator there. And uh, other players, kind of obviously to look out for. I think Mandron's probably him. Him and Long, anyway, are our sort of two top scorers for the season. Mandron's been out a little bit this year, but uh, Chris Long, he, he's one who he's somebody we brought in in the summer, and has actually, I think he's. Uh, he's about to win our podcast player of the year. That's, uh, I think that's been announced. I think I think I'm all right saying that. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah. Uh, so he he's obviously come into the side and done quite well. And Mandron, like I say, carry him and uh, a couple of others, like I say, other players who seem to have sort of been reinvigorated by the manager change. Like I say, um, and then at the back, like I say, we've got uh, mostly young players there, especially uh, Zach Williams. Are you? may may know about as well i think he's just turned 18 now so he's he's uh but he has he's played a lot this season he's another one that probably wouldn't have been playing if if you know things had shaken out a bit differently and uh some of the signings had, had gelled a bit better or and some of them hadn't retired but yeah he's he's probably been one of the the few bright points from the season as well and uh Let's talk about Rakeem Harper then. Um, joined yeah. you on deadline day. Um, a lot of town fans were excited when he signed in the summer. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out for him. Of course, new manager came in, Kieran McKenna, got loaned out. Um, How has he been? I know he's played regularly recently. I know he played catch of Wednesday. He's been playing the last few weeks. But uh, how's he been getting on? We'll do a proper insight on from you guys later on in the season when the season's over. But your quick take on Raheem Harper. He won't be playing most likely because of course he's going to be lone, tied, whatever it's called. But I don't know, they yeah. may go, let him play. Just let him play because this doesn't care. It's a dead rubber. Yeah, Ho- hopefully because, uh, well, like you say, I, I mean, that that feeling that you say you mentioned about, um, you know, you, you get all excited when you see him signing because you, you hear about the teams that had been sniffing around him before that and everything. Uh, we had the same, we had the exact same thing in January. So, you know, it was like, oh, this is a real coup for us. This is, and then for whatever reason, he just, he just didn't, he didn't hit the ground running whatsoever. Um, he seems a bit sluggish. There was maybe sort of rumours of maybe he's just not got his fitness. He's not got match fit. He's not, I don't know what it is. But then, so again, could it be manager change or he has finally sort of got that bit of fitness, but he has looked better in the last couple of games, you say. he's uh, He has been a bit of a, a force in midfield. Um, I'm not quite sure where he's going to end up in terms of mm. in that sort of midfield, if he's going to be more of a sort of deep line playmaker type thing, or if he wants to be this box to box midfielder, I'm not quite sure what he'll be long term. but um, I, I think there is, there is a good player in him. It's just maybe not always the easiest to get out of. Yeah. And uh, I've said it already. This is unfortunately a very dead rubber for both sides. Um, what are you expecting from this game? Um, a lot of players are maybe on the beach, but there'll be some playing for their future as well. Definitely for Richard's Town, and I'm sure a lot of crew players. I don't know if there many of that are out of contract or they just want to prove to the current manager. I'm sure. I don't know if you're going to, you know, bring in a permanent manager or maybe they'll give a chance for Alex Morris. I know he's a crew lad. He came through youth academy. He's been through the coaching setup as well. Um, but what sort of game would you like to see? And is there players you think are going to be fighting for their futures? Um, it's a good point. I think that there uh, could be. Uh, we've we've possibly got a couple who. Some fans would maybe not like to see the back, would like to see the back of, and maybe somebody wouldn't like to see the back of. Uh, that, that could be either playing for a new contract or maybe even putting themselves in the shop window for other clubs to come in. Uh, you know, especially seeing as, as we're going down, you know, they could be looking at, oh, well, I'd rather carry on playing in League One, for example. Uh, so we've got that. Um, I'm expecting it to be a, an interesting affair, at least. You know, if, if this would have been. A month or two ago, and both teams have still got something to play for. I'd have been a little bit more worried than I actually am. I think about the game. Uh, you don't have to look at our the the game at your place for that, to be honest. And uh, but but as it is, I think you know the, the players have probably got something to play for. The manager 
he's probably the favourite to get the job at the minute in the, on a permanent basis. Um, I could see us probably sticking with him, but effectively he's still putting himself in the shop window as well for that. It's you know it's still a two more get two more games into his audition kind of thing. So uh, he's I think he's going to want to try and get as a result. And it's again it's just we, we were sort of in the same position as you were last year at this time, point. So it's like it's hard to see if some players are necessarily going to be all that motivated for it. So. I'm sneakily hopeful, shall I say? Yeah, uh, Carol. Sorry, I was going to say yeah, but it's it's. I'm sneaky hopeful, but purely on a maybe you guys don't fully turn up kind of thing. And we didn't we didn't get that kind of look on Tuesday because obviously Wednesday is still pushing for well pushing for automatics as it is. But uh, we, yeah, we didn't we didn't have that luxury on on Wednesday that we'll hope, hopefully get on Saturday. Indeed, and what can Town fans look forward to when they go to Crew. This will be my first visit to Crew since 2006, um, which was a uh, Valentine's Day, and uh, we won that that game. But uh, what can Town fans expect when it gets to the way? And I oh, know Crew, you've got one of the longest stands ever, haven't you? What one of the main <laughs> stands? Just like keeps going and keeps going. But uh, well, yeah, what can Town fans expect? Um, I mean, the uh, in terms of the match or the the facilities itself, the the, yeah. the pitch is. Not in a great state at the minute, shall we say? <laughs> Not that many are at this time of the year, but we have an issue with that big stand blocking out a lot of sun, which just, just, you know, it'll be both teams will be on the beach, shall we say? Let's put it that way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, the crew itself is, it's okay. You know, there's, uh, it's one of those towns. I think you, you can sort of say the, uh, the, the, the stadium's pretty close to the train station, which always helps as well. Yeah. Definitely, and yeah, enjoy the trains. Just watch loads of trains because that's the course, <laughs> yeah. railway men for a reason. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Well, Aaron, it's been a pleasure, my friend. Thanks so much for that insight on crew. Um, your last home game of the season as well, so I'm sure there's going to be a send off there. You're going to do the, you know, all the players are going to go around. I'm sure. Of course, going to be a disappointing end to the season. Of course, really confirmed relegation. But um, um, what would you like to see from your crew side? And um, yeah, final notes from you. Yeah, like I say, uh, hoping for hoping for a big crowd. Like I say, with it being the last last home game at least of the season, so hopefully it should be should be quite a few of us there. Um, and like I say, hoping for a strong spirited performance, uh, much like we got on Tuesday, I guess in a way. But so even if the even if the result doesn't necessarily go our way, at times this season there have been times when you you've questioned the performance, and I'm hoping that we won't be getting that. Indeed. Well, bring it on. Um, say trip to all the town fans heading to crew this weekend for the most deadest or dead rubbers. Um, Aaron, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for joining me and make sure to follow the game with us when we head to crew. See you all there.